Welcome back guys and what we're going to be looking at today is our intro to patterns and sequences. Now in junior cert we would have referred to a sequence as a pattern because a sequence is just a set of numbers written down in a definite order. So if you look at our example here we have 3, 5, 7 and 9. 3 would be our first term which is called t1, then 5 would be our second term t2, t3 and t4. And the dot 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 just means that our patterns continue. Now the important thing to remember and what you're going to see a lot in questions is talking about the general term of a sequence which can also be given by tn or the nth term and we're going to be looking at formulas for these in a little while which will be on our log tables on page 22. But just to get used to patterns first it says write down the first four terms in each of the following sequences and it gives us our general term tn. Well, to write down the first four terms, all we need to do is T1, T2, T3, and T4. And you can see here that our small number n is always our little term that we're subbing in. So to find term 1, we just sub in 1 everywhere we see an n, and that gives me 2. We sub in 2 for term 2 everywhere we see an n, and that gives me 6. We sub in 3 everywhere we see an n and that gives me 12, and we sub in a 4 everywhere we see an n for term 4, and that gives me 20. Now we write out our pattern 2, 4, 12, 2, 6, 12, 20, dot, 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 as our number sequence, and that answers that question. Now to go one step further here to remind us of a few things, if we look at the common difference between each one, which is plus 4, plus 6, and plus 8, this is called our first difference, or our common difference. And if this was constant, it would be what's called a linear pattern. But as it's not, we go again, and what we see is our second difference is constant at plus 2. And because our second difference is constant, it's going to be called what's called a quadratic pattern, which we're going to come to at the very end of our set of videos here. Okay? But flying through part 2 of our example here again, I'm going to find the first 4 by just subbing in 1, 2, 3, and 4 to get our terms. So we have 2 to the power of 1 by 3 minus 3 by 1, which gives me minus 1. We have 2 to the power of 2 minus 3 by 2, which gives me minus 2. We have 3 to the power we have 2 to the power of 3 minus 3 by 3, which gives me minus 1 again. And we have 2 to the power of 4 minus 3 by 4, which gives me 4. So now looking at this, guys, I can see my sequence of numbers is minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, and 4. And there's no obvious pattern between those, so we finish our example here. Now, what we would do now, looking at example 2, is you can see that it says draw the first two passions of tiles. Now, you can clearly see that in pattern 1, there's no red tiles. There's just six blue tiles. In pattern 2, we have an outline of blue tiles, but two red tiles in between or two white tiles in between, and again we increase our passion, and I know full well you'll be able to draw T4 and T5 into our notes now. What I want to focus on is part 2 to 5. So part 2 here, what it looks at is using a number sequence for each of the blue tiles, which just means we write down the number. So we have 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And what you'd see in the next one when you count them is you have 18. And I can guess in the next one already that you're going to have 22. And the reason why I can guess that is because I can see that this is what's called a linear pattern, where it each goes up by 4 each time. So it's a linear pattern or a linear sequence where it's going up by 4 each time. For the next one, for part three, it asked me to write a number sequence for the total number of tiles used. So what I'd see here is in the first one, again, I have six. In the next one, I had 10 blue, so I just need to add on two white, so I have 12. We can see we had 14 blue, and then two by three is, two by three is six, so we would have 20 here now. And what I'd see is I can again see a pattern to start forming where I had plus six here, then I had plus 8, so the next time I would have plus 10, and then I would have plus 12. So I can see here, if I had have drawn out my T4 and T5, I would have had 30, and I would have had 42. For part 3, it asked me to find a number sequence for the number of white tiles using these two patterns. Well, if this is the total and this is the blue, to find the white, 